Welcome to another episode of Not For The Weak Minded. Now, first of all, I'd like to say, uh, I'm sorry that I haven't produced any content in the last three weeks. Unfortunately, I've been very busy um, with uni work, and as Christmas is a very, very, very uh, busy time period for retail, I've been doing a lot more hours, which is what they've been needed. So hopefully after the new year, it should calm down a bit and I can go back to doing 20 hours a week and have a bit more time to put my content out because I have a lot of content. I just unfortunately have also been working on something very, very new. And this is what this presentation's about. Now, I'm gonna get in a little backdrop about how we're gonna get, how we got into this. And to start with, um, I did a university module last year, uh, last term, sorry, called Monitoring Earth from Space. Now, bear in mind that it should be called Monitoring Earth from <laughs> Low Earth Orbit. Uh, never mind, because you can't go to space. It doesn't really exist in, in terms of what we've been programmed to believe. Anyway. That's a different topic entirely. So anyway, um, the second thing I'd like to say before getting into this new complex theory and my observational research is it, I found it very difficult to delete Facebook due to the friends that I've made and the social events connected with the transplant games. And it, I had a couple of events where I played table tennis in badminton. Didn't do particularly well, but that's what you get when you don't practice and you don't have time to practice because you're too busy trying to learn the truth and see what's going on around the world, what the New World Order puppets are up to, the elites and the politicians and the UN and Brussels, and uh, it goes on and on and on. I mean, the world is changing rapidly as, as we can see with the weather and the technology has been driven with uh, with a lot of unethical and major implications on, on humanity. So what this, the, prob the problem is, is, and I will probably do a video about it in the near future, is basically the danger of AI and its capabilities of creating new fake news content and also the ability to it itself generate people that you could never tell the difference. So they can generate people. I mean, we already know they use fake fake actors, and you know, um, and as I'm trying to show in our videos, that all these. Freemasons and these secret societies are all in it together, you know, so It's a very ominous thing to know that many many people are probably going to be duped by the fake news which is produced by AI and absolutely assaulted upon the population through social media platforms so this is why I really want to get off it because although I don't really use it um, I still morally want to get off it and and so after I've done this video um, soon you know maybe in the next day or two I am basically going to put a post together and say why I'm getting off it hopefully it won't be censored I mean I'm trying you know they are censoring a lot of people and unfortunately the things I've got to say to you probably will be censored and so this is why I've been trying to do alternative um, posts on minds.com at the same time as getting different you know people I suppose from different walks of life that I don't know because a lot of the people on YouTube are currently subscribers I, I do know which is not a bad thing at all anyway I'm gonna get into this now
so welcome to uh, your new perception of reality based on observational research and hopefully we're, where I'll take you with this uh, um, for logic and reasoning by the end of it you'll see that one that there is absolutely undoubtedly true what you're seeing with your eyes and two that you've been lied to about life itself and how it works and also the geological geological principles of time so I am uh, my dissertation is on and I did a little bit of it on the video about the Eolithic debate and essentially the tools for the Paleolithic industry the um, you know the arguments that they it's basically too advanced to be the first implement and basically this argument goes back like over a hundred odd years and even had people for 20 odd years that suggested that they have found evidence to support the fact that tertiary man exists but I'm telling you now that what they found is nothing but the time of Matt and mixture of giants and of other you know races and beings and stuff like that I mean if you look at the archaeological record and actually do research into like the ancient sites you'll find that not many humans actually existed very tall giant beings and different alien beings and all sorts of things but anyway I'm a bit diverging it's kind of because it's to do with this as you can see by the excuse me by the first slide so essentially what you know if you've got eyes you can see that this is clearly a man's face and what a great gesture to start the presentation open hand to, so hopefully you'll be open minded enough to continue on listening to what I have to say because uh, it is very complicated it's easy to see once you start seeing it and uh, trust me once you start seeing it you will never look at the geological landscape and think about the, the perception that you're currently under is true so let's get into it so obviously I just said about the face already um, but if you actually notice so I'm going to learn my lesson from other times it's not doing it uh, hold on so you can see like in it, you can see his eye nose mouth chin but what you also see within it is you'll see all these beings so you see a being face there and so this new theory which I've, I've coined sort of face life um, is everywhere you can literally it doesn't matter where you look you'll see it and you'll start seeing all these interconnected faces that are the landscape and the research I've done is basically to do with this to do with a brand new theory about why we are seeing face life in the landscape and to go further and, and as you will see in the presentation to try and make you see and, and show you that you know geological time is, is unfortunately a lie so let's just go to the next slide now my research area for university was excuse me I've not been very well the last couple of days it's the this you know I um I'll tell you a little bit of why I, I don't know how I stumbled upon this area and later on I'll show you but in a certain image um, where I ended up st like originally coming to this area of interest and again what is very noticeable if you can't see it already is there is this giraffe the un, like pff, I call it the unknown giraffe creature but it's a hybrid of a giraffe and something else I'm, I'm sure um, and so what also do you see over here you know you see a massive face you know and it has definition and this kind of looks like hair so this is kind of like what the things I'm kind of bringing to question is why are we 
what does it mean the, the things that we're beginning to see with our eyes um, and again this has to do with geological time but also life it uh, what life is made of itself it's complicated it's weird and many people will see the things I'm saying but they won't believe it until they kind of get the concept of what I'm trying to show them that you know that, and also that they've been lied to by every single thing about you know to do with reality so I have no idea how I did on because I go against the grain I have no idea how I did on my latest uh, this work presentation because I you know this is more elaborate version of what it is only 3,000 words still had 35 slides anyway I'm digressing a bit can you also see this guy over here you know where his hand cut off and there are other images I found too other places where it looks like large beings have been cut interesting good start can you also see this thick guy here I mean, if you actually look, they're everywhere. You'll start seeing faces, and they're all how they're all interconnected to one another. So I can zoom in. You see it? But the complicatedness of this issue is, which took me a long time to try and work out, is, and I'll show you the evidence for it. Is how can we explain? all the interconnected faces to one another that you could literally once you get your eye in you could literally draw around as I'm doing now you literally go around there zooming over and over around there you see it another one there another one there another one there like, you can literally see the outlines of these faces so the question is well, how, how is this possible and, and, and I had to think about this for a very long time um, well at least three weeks and the rest because um, obviously doing my ancient research and knowledge about the past and stuff I already know about the you know the time of the giants and stuff and if you looked at the book of Enoch you know as I said in my other presentation um, they're 15 they, you know they were up to 1500 meters tall but that is not that um, that's even bigger I mean that's much much bigger but this is more like the ter the size as I'll show you later I'll give you you know a scale of how big this draft creature is but essentially the work I've done so let's move on to this one is this is 180 th this whole thing is not 180 so I took 180 by 180 patch of data and then I cut it in half basically and I just concentrated on you know what you can see the giraffe creature the weird long face um, I focused the part on that a bit on there and I've also done a, a focused on here this section here which is very odd because straight away you can see that this has been cut into and it's very very square and the discoveries I found is well I'd like to let's say go there and do some work there um, but that's a long way off that dream yeah I'm afraid uh, this section here is to do with ancient cultures the landscape and sort of this and that go together I mean the whole area is absolutely covered in ancient culture and we'll get into the evidence for that in a bit and this area here so as you can see in this multi multi-spectral image the highlighted areas are the sections and the backdrop is just what you would see normally just normal vision so uh, Gnosis believe can you sit, start seeing all these interconnected large faces in the landscape and how you know 
they're all next to each other and they're all interlinked. You can go down here and there's another one there, look. Sticking his tongue out, looks like. So the problem I have, I've been finding, is how can we tell the difference? Because I had obviously believed that life is what we've been told. And so trying to understand this, I ha you literally have to start again and not believe what you believe. Because essentially what you actually begin to see here is the evidence, I believe anyway, which hopefully you'll see at the end of it, it is of the Titans. And this means that the geological timeline has a more biblical narrative again and you can see this with your eyes but it's to do with the evidence which we see with our eyes you see so it, it I know it sounds strange that all these faces are and all they're all interconnected but if you look carefully you you will begin to see it and they're very large I mean if you look at in comparison to this actual creature later on which I'll show you and the, and the the faces within it itself um, you'll see I mean look at this one here Can you see this one here stands out but I believe that's part of the leg but yeah you, you'll find out that you know all these interconnected beings are also a part of the giraffe also a part of you know this face over here as I was trying to show, sort of show you in the first image that the being had all these interconnected faces in it so this is not what I expected to see at all in fact uh, I recently had a neighbour come over and I he was interested in what I was researching so I said come over and we had a two hour you know two and a half hour run through just of the logic and the reasoning and then eventually trying to show him to see it I mean he couldn't even see the draft to start with couldn't see it so I get there's people out there that are going to be completely blind with their eyes even though they're com they can see perfectly fine um, what I, you know I was one of them all of us are we're all blind to reality it's funny because uh, if we truly, actually, really, you know, observed reality, we would know straight away that we've been lied to about every single concept of it. The core principles are nothing but lies. So, part of my thing we had to do NDVI, it's just normalised difference vegetation index. Um, basically, this is used for vegetation generally to show the how healthy the crops are and other things you know um, it's got many applications but the application which obviously I'm trying to use it for is to demonstrate that if you actually look carefully at these images you'll see that not the image in 1984 and the image in 2011 both have contrast in beings that stick out from the landscape at different times but then if you actually look you can actually see them in in both sides once you actually get your eye in and you'll notice others you know that and and eventually i mean look you know an eye there an eye there nose mouth eye eye nose mouth and they're all interconnected yet again so you can see this line perfect line there look and it's being being's face and the next one look right next to it and then that one there look clear as day clear as you know how they're and they're small and big and random a a alien and human and other beings animal it's quite frankly bizarre but this is what we're saying, right? So how do we can how can we explain this? So I ask you about 
changing your perspective too with these photographs and if you take I don't know let's say a couple of steps back from the screen you're watching on now obviously I know that if you're looking at your phone it's a bit more difficult and ideally you should be watching this on a, on a PC monitor or TV screen because it'll make you know these images stand out a lot more clearly but essentially when you change your perspective you will particularly obviously not in this image but in, in others you, you will begin to see different things and, and begin to see I don't know the so let's try and explain it a bit better this photo here this uh, photo this image if you actually take a step back which I have now you know, a couple of step back can you actually see that sector sector one do, generally does kind of look like a face a very di weird one at like that but it it does look like a face so I you know I ask is this you know what is this real you know is this really what we're seeing is this something that is a real bin at one time so in order to actually answer that question we need to actually go back here and understand face life you see why are we seeing all these faces all interconnected in this bin itself which seem kind of proportional as well to the size of the bin itself and I said there's all they're all interconnected and they're all big ones and small ones now clearly this makes it very 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 confusing because if you're looking at something that's m much if something very is something smaller is on top of that large thing then that makes it very difficult because it's obviously the the depending on your perspective again um, how to determine whether that is actually from a smaller being or from the titans now this is what I'm trying to say with the different size faces why these are larger on the outside rather than in the inside let's say of the draft which will, which will show is that they must be part of something much bigger so I'm trying to show you that like the, the concept like you know like these beings over here is much larger heads in comparison to say that the, these ones which were in here have to be something of part of something a bit bigger anyway we'll get into it the other thing is this you know this is clearly not face life it's giant life which I guarantee if you examine will have face life in it so like I said we've been lied to about everything and then I thought that interesting things have circled but even in like these images can you see the outlines of the field and how they still retain to the kind of the shape of the of the light face life and it don't matter how many images you look at you will continually see it the continuation of of face life and it can be in cities it can you know i, I will do more work on this because this is just the beginning of this research but you're gonna you you know you'll see it that face there that eye eye mouth but it, they are the landscape i just circled a few things in here Again, field, you can see that eye, eye, nose, mouth. It's not pattern recognition when it's self evident. And again, I thought that interesting looks like a tiger and a walrus type thing. Notice the clouds got a face. This is the section two, and again, this is the one. 
so take a step back again because perspective is really important can you see where I've highlighted on the right image that there is absolutely two massive black eyes so here one two nose and a mouth like a weird mouth I guarantee if we zoom in on that there will be ever smaller beings and all these interconnected beings that are the face itself and it, it's kind of like inception really it's kind of like life is life is life which is kind of what I said at the start can you see this evidence of ancient culture here look all these buildings I said you know how strange that is like that's been cut out how square it is well they obviously used whatever they dug out of that and they built this place I believe with it I want to prove it I need to go there so this is the horn of the weird hybrid can you see it you can see it's kind of got like weird kind of like hoof tusk right there look and there's a weird creature there which we'll get into in a bit there's another image for that but again there's face life everywhere man like if you you know you look carefully you, you'll begin to see it and then you'll see how they're interconnected to whoever I mean going around the weather has destroyed these things and this is why it's imperative that you also look back through time now I could blatantly go back through time more than just the comparison of what I have you know I could go everywhere in between and that could clearly show a lot more question is is there people out there willing to do that to, to help me prove this using algorithms to, to literally every year right there's all those different faces you can see that's perfect and then we'll map it in and then we'll have a full scale map of the geological landscape with all these interconnected being faces I mean LiDAR can do it I can tell you now but I have actually created a company and it's called LiDAR Solutions Limited now it's only a name only at the minute and I need to finish university which will be in April but hopefully when my mate gets back I can formulate a business and find some financial backing to actually help me use LiDAR to investigate this place um, but they're not cheap so if anyone's listening that's interested in ancient sites and ar and archaeological possible riches even though I'm not in it for the money I'm in it for the the knowledge you know self gratification almost to know that I've discovered this you know anyway and it's truth you know all I care about is the truth you know so that's all I care about so anyway going back to the other image this thing this thing is here look I mean how strange is that you can clearly see it's got a little a leg it's got a tail I'll cut the tail off but you can see the tail in this image look goes all the way down there look interesting it's got spine so scale 53.22 miles long or 85.65 kilometers long from head to toe and this is exactly where it is Rotherham pretty much Chesterfield to Bradford and beyond so let's get into the central section now this is the giraffes midsection oh no yeah so this is this section here and so but I'm gonna begin to show you that you can see all this this face here mouth nose eye eye never head there look and you can just literally follow it all the way never one there look if you got a keen eye you literally you can see it 
never faced there a lot. That's the field. And the small one there. And you know, younger, it is confusing to follow them. That one there, like. Anyway, you can see over here more interconnected faces that are, it seems to me, proportional to one another and to maybe the giraffe creatures, you know, size overall. So this area here I've highlighted because that's the next image, but you also see these weird rings. What looks like an eye there, look. A reptilian eye. The eye of Sauron, maybe. The real eye of Sauron. Anyway, this is a uh, more kind of geocentric circle pattern in over there as well. Probably terracing of some kind, but you see this guy over here? I mean, you can see him everywhere. And even when you don't look in the draft, you can see outside the draft and you, you just see it. You know, more interconnectivity of these faces in the landscape. So please, please, I, I beg you, this is what we see with our eyes. And by the end of this, if you're still listening, I will show you more and more proof of this concept. And, and the more you draw it, look, you can just go around them, the outlines of these beings. There's no one there. And it's everywhere. It is life itself. This is evidence that we've been lied to about life, you know, in its entirety. Next image. So this image is that highlighted section. And again, inside this draft, you'll see these pathways with faces at the end of them. You know, sticking out, clear as day. This one here, look. Another one there, look. Eye, eye, nose, mouth. Another one we up there a lot, right next to it. Another one next to it. See, so I couldn't work out whether all the beings were face up in the landscape. I was like, why am I seeing that? How can I explain that in a geological term? Like, are they real beings? How can they be all real and they're all interconnected and laying on top? I can't be all laying up face on face up. It's impossible. You might, and, and and that's that's where the logic went. It's it's so much of it. It's illogical to think that these are all real beings that are face up. That you know what it is is evidence of something that was alive. You know that is now part of the landscape that has evidence of face life, which is actually life. The and creation itself. Um. And the the wonder of understanding why do we see all these different faces and different beings and that's something we might get to later on because at the minute you know there's no point in even hypothesizing what it really means until you get you know general consensus of this is what it really is. So I'm saying obviously I know personally, but I'm doing this for other people to show them. This is exactly what's going on, you know. This is what life really is, and and eventually you should, you know, if if you go through this the whole way with me, see it yourselves, like you have been lied to. Now this is obviously a different image. This is the 2011 image. Just highlighting the sections. So then the VI image of the leg of the giraffe. Now oh, there's a lot of things here, again, noticeably. The changing of the landscape here. These terraces. And also this thing, which we'll get into the multi-spectral colour image in a minute. Um, you know, here and there's evidence of ancient culture over here and this if you actually in the in the this image itself you can you can do it take a couple of steps back again 
and you'll see that that face that you see is very large indeed isn't it you know here's the mouth eye eye head all the way around in comparison to the giraffe's leg I mean and the faces in the giraffe's leg which you will see it's absolutely ginormous and he's so when you compare the two images you begin to see certain changes that make things stand out a bit more so for example this face right here in that in the, in the 2011 image look it's, it's pretty much been destroyed where in that one like you can see the outline sticks out like a sore thumb and there's many things here that stick out I mean this looks like a knee joint of some kind and the next image is going to make you laugh if you think this is like what our knee joints are well not this image but the next one but again I'm just showing you like the contrast between the two images and what you can see over time if you notice here you notice this face here you can see the eye look you can see a clear eye so maybe this was once something real but it's not what we think it is because it's some you know into kind of overlaced so with that would have been say a creature it looks like a weird creature doesn't it like, like a beak and that and then basically underneath it is larger life itself and then if i zoomed in on that if it was clearer we could probably see other beings and you know there's a face there like for example in it so this is why it's confusing you see you don't quite know what you're looking at until you study these things and then when you get your eye in and you actually take the, the time to actually study these images and be a, and be patient with your observations you get you, this is essentially you know the greatest puzzle of all time and it's it, it's you know it's, it's amazing it amazes me that for so long that we've all been under this illusion of what reality really is you know, it's, it's mental. I mean, it took me nine years to research all the core subjects, but this just tops the tops it all. I mean, if you want, you really want to see what's going on in the world, <laughs> this is the way. Look at it. It's it's just incredible. Face there. Clear as day. Stands out. Let's get into the spectral images interesting again you can see through the contrasts of these images how these different beings stand out and you can see this one here you can actually see evidence of ancient culture up here building this was actually probably more elaborated on as well as this area and it does look like there are buildings in there, look. Perfect lines. And you got a massive straight line there. And this looks like it's been it's in a very good area of interest. You see the line there, look. Perfect line off the road. And again, this is flat platform. And what looks like a pyramid see it obviously it could be a road that looks like that but I don't know just it's fascinating see this over here look all these holes it's perfect circles now this is proper indigenous of ancient cultures so I'm very eager to go there I'm very very eager to climb this place and absolutely discover something truly amazing see see this over here look another I mean that could be modern probably is modern I don't want that but yeah interesting look, look at the this I said the earlier about the you know this looks like a kneecap area or joint area of the giraffe's leg and what do you see like another massive skull and then right next to it you have like tiny faces 
interconnected right next to it. So when you uh, think that we could actually be like this way as well, when we actually do our knee in, we're just doing our faces in. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. That just sounds nuts. Oh my word. But this is what it looks like to me, you know. And and when you when you look at the you, yourselves and all, life, is, you know, this is what it kind of looks like to me. You see this face here, like clear as day. But it's part of this being, isn't it? You know, it's it's proportional to the. The, the bee in size, which is like massive and it's all right. So number one, no, it just stands out. It's a different, like what we would say. Oh, it's a cartilage area that would be like different types of beings. I've got that job, you know. I don't know. Also, we've been lied to about everything. We just we have to. If you want to know the truth, you literally have to. Fight, uh, go and search for it because you're never going to be told the truth about anything and once you do you'll then realize bloody hell we have been deceived massively as a, as a species to the point where we're headed for self-destruction people can't even see it look at the faces man hopefully you start seeing this though so it wakes you up you know you can actually see you've been lied to clear as day because if you can't see all the interconnected faces I mean I can't put it any cl clearer can I you know really so anyway back to the ancient culture of discovery notice this arrow right here it's uh yeah it seems like this culture was also capable of f flight now the next couple of images after the NDVI ones of section 4 are going to be supporting that uh, notion that there was once an advanced ancient culture that was capable of flight in Britain which they are not telling us about. I'm sure they know, I'm, I'm damn well they know but they ain't telling us about this, they ain't telling us the truth, they know the truth I mean if I told you the truth, that you, this stuff to put in TV shows, uh, uh, well, like cartoons and games, and it's always been hidden in plain sight, you know? So I will be doing a little video on this to do with um, Red Dead Redemption 2 and how basically the things I'm showing you now, you could see in the game, literally the clouds, whilst the, the, the geoengineering is heavily in that game, you know? Trying to make you believe this is normal weather when it's not normal, it's all manipulated and controlled by the same people that have deceived us our whole and our lives born into this nonsense and we chose to never mind look at these faces man Please tell me, please comment. I mean, I want people to comment. I want people to actually say like, actually, all right, I see what you're saying. I understand it. And if you don't quite get what I mean, then please ask. Because I don't have all the answers, you know? I'm only showing you what is really going on and what, what we see with our eyes. I mean, look, an eye, an eye, mouth, nose. This thing's been cut out of it again. Perfect you know, buildings and definitely an ancient culture here, absolutely, 100%. It's just whether uh, I can get all the f things together to go do it myself, you know. Next things, Bramley. Here we go, look at this, perfect, perfect line, building. I mean, it's remarkable. Got one thing. This image here. Take a couple of steps back and look at the large face again that I was trying to demonstrate. I mean, it does stand out clearly, and it, and it is very, very large. When you say. Anyway, I was going to say, um, please, uh, any time, pause it and 
look at these take your time you know there's there's no rush to look at these photographs just because i'm trying to whiz through show you you know in every photograph what face life is you know that life is this face life and we are that as well you know but we'll come to that at the end if you're still here you know if you're still listening because a lot of people ain't got a atten attention span of t two year old see his face man look at it stands out clear as day you know next to it next to it no i just showed that anyway here again never perfect bit square and then the face right next to it and there's so many things in this image like i said like um I have obviously analysed these images to a point but there's obviously a lot more that you can see that I don't point out and this is why I'm saying please don't like take you know take your time don't you know, don't rush these things if, if you can't see exactly what I'm showing you then just take your time you know you, you will see these things it will stand out and eventually if you start following it you know take a screenshot you know just draw if you have to to see it it will stand out look at look at the amazement of this ancient culture man it's massive building complex here it goes across here it goes across all the way across here and the evidence which i'm going to get into next supports the notion that this was also in a advanced air capable culture so you see this face man right there boom boom so looks like you wear a pointy hat and there's other things you know you see the faces in the in, in it all but this landscape has been heavily manipulated as as the ancient culture has been here so the face life is harder to see in this than any others, but you can still see it. It's, never, it's still there, that there, there. No eye, eye, nose, mouth. Particularly when you try and contrast the pair of them, what stands out more? Although they're pretty similar, really. Anyway, get on. Oh, let's quickly go back to the city things as well. See how you can see these in, even in the city, like areas. Or towns and stuff, you can still see it. I'm going to do a video on that so, at next next part of the video. So this is the same area. Again, color image you can see. Noticeably, look at this thing. So the next image after this is cut off, so you don't really see this part. But noticeably, you can also see that there's a culture, there's evidence here, like a square building, and never evidence of it here cut into the thing you know and s circles and all these things are to me anomalies as well can't explain them you'd have to go there we have to go i have to go here i have to anyway right so more beings you know you see all the beings stand out as well or the landscape just like and all the colors make it change and you can see the, the different beings and stuff and here look never been there never want to bear that and that one look looks like he's sticking his tongue out doesn't it definitely looks like he's sticking his tongue out but these could be ever this this here could be evidence of the titans because that might be that might be a real you know that that could be evidence of the titans in its own right because this is what we got to do you know not only am i trying to prove We've been lied to about life itself, but I'm also trying to prove geological times a lie, and that Titans were real. Uh, the Titans, sorry, the Giants were real, and this is evidence for it. But face life also proves that the Titan was re Titans are real as well through logic and reasoning and understanding, and later on proving it yet again when to go further out with your observations, just try and see exactly what we're living on. Now, could Google could be lying to us all along, but I, I think to a certain extent this is exactly what we are saying you know this is face life face life in ancient cultures now anyway and I did a video about 
can't remember what it was about. Essentially, I said I talked. I was going to talk about this, and basically, this is pretty much how this area started of interest and how I got into this area, and why I chose this that you know that 180 by 90 kilometer section to study. And it's here. This is it, right here. I thought that's interesting. Looks like a fort. And then I went to Google Earth Engine and essentially I started looking through time and the images were very revealing and I've not got all the images on here, I've only got a few um, but it's very very interesting indeed to see the things that it shows because what it shows is evidence that this culture changed the landscape to be seen from the air and can only be seen from the air which is what we're looking at right now just like the arrow you saw this is exactly the same type of evidence we need we're talking about so what do we see man look this is as clear as day a deer a nose and, and it's been there and then obviously this ancient culture has built stuff here and over time you can't see it yeah i never fake that that face right there look so the face life sticks through but so does the evidence of this ancient culture changing this landscape so you see how like they've moved, they've carved this up to make it look like what it is but it's also could be i don't know evidence that there was once here something that was giant that fell and they killed so this difference here why this area looks different could be because it is actually part of something that was giant that got chopped up to build everything that we see around this area the ancient culture i mean else this is where all the building material comes from and if you look at the building material around the world which i'm going to show you um but not around the world but you can look at it from around the world and it will show the same things you'll see face life in the rocks you know you'll see it clear as day so next photo through time again perspective you see things stand out clear as day elephant that they've input into the landscape clear as day frog but these things only stand out i can only imagine what it looked like when it was like fully done it would have been incredible like a mosaic of all different animals together like that you can see from from the air honestly truly amazing really you clearly see again that this massive depression that's probably you know built in of some kind you see this there's definitely something inside it but again underneath it you can still see face life which brings the question what is trees and vegetation and stuff you know life if life is this is all life like this it's, you know more questions and unfortunately by the end of it there'll still be more questions than answers but this is the way searching for truth goes there's another thing i needed to say about this no don't matter i think i said enough and there's again how these places are all interconnected as well there's again there's more evidence here where's the mouse gone there of an ancient culture that you know stepped this whole plateau and on top of it you'll see you know it building inf you know, infrastructure for temple complex it looks like again but you don't see it in the other image you see how you need to look back through time to see in certain images how, how things change and ever noticeably thing this is this area and why I chose this area in the first place was because I thought it looked like a being. And you can clearly see an eye and a mouth there. Look. And again, perspective is everything, so take a step back a bit. And you again, you'll start seeing very, very large faces in the landscape that are interconnected with it. So let's start over here. Look at this thing. How? Why is it white? And that, why does that stand out more? You know? And when you start actually looking closely you can follow it you know so there's an where's, where's it gone now it's you know it goes around there 
never been there's never a guy like that and I and I in his mouth there's smaller ones and big goes into there and there's another one underneath that and it's all entanglement interconnectivity I mean there's no other way of saying it you know these are all connected to one another and they're all different scales and levels see I said ever oh that was it cut, uh, an arm being cut off another arm being cut off yeah right there look definitely looks like an arm same you know like, I don't know let's just get on with it this is the colour image interesting enough you can see that these bits do stand out in the NDVI and you can actually see the two eyes how they stand out this kind of looks like a dog to me to start with very dog like you know two ears and an, an eye there and a, and a nose sort of thing going that way not sure we'll see in, but you see just more beings in the landscape you know even if it's when it's even when it's heavily farmed like it is now like you can still see things on in underneath it I mean look at that you can clearly see a skull massive skull there that's odd you can see it underneath it so as I say there's many questions and answers Again, this thing was what I thought looked like a dog. But in all fairness, I have no idea what it really is. Because you can see more face life in it. Or whatever that, you know, there's a face there. And it's a clear face there. And there's another one above it, right there, look. See the outlines. I'm not going to be wrong, I'm not always right with my interpretations, but where they actually are. I mean, well, this is interesting. I don't know what this is either. I'm going to look at it. Up. Don't know what that is. If you know, please let me know what that is. be interesting to find out. Oh, look, anyway. Civil War, Ward City type. There, look. Anyway, no, where that? This is so much stuff in these images. Just, just never ending there, that. It's connected with that. Another one there. Mind blown yet? It's gonna carry on. So here we go again. I've done this in the other presentation. On, on my YouTube channel but now I'm going to take these images and go into face life if, and so this is probably evidence of let's say the Titans for now and this is evidence of face life within it so you see how you can see it now the next image is just a little bit more zoomed in but then if you look carefully you also see the interconnected beings up here look face there face there no one there no one there no one there more eye, eye. more eyes and more eyes and eyes are the key look, see the eyes that's you know see the outline you got it you'll never see the landscape ever again the same way interesting enough let's just use this top one Again, like, you know, these look, oh, natural creases and stuff, but if you look carefully, they are faces. They really are interconnected faces that look like creases, but they are faces. And they're everywhere. Blah, 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 blah. I think you're kind of getting the point now, I believe. I hope, anyway. And if, if you're still listening, if you don't think I'm a crackpot or a lunatic or seeing patterns or you know just outright lunatic but if you are thank you I uh, really need your support really to push this 
because if you really want to see the truth and wake people up this is the stuff of stuff you need to see really they lie to you about life itself man that's not on in fact it's so bizarre when you start looking at all these different beings um, and all their alien and you know different weird beings how does that make sense about the creation of life itself I mean that could puzzle people for years I'm just gonna give you a simple answer you know we create things in our own image and so the creators which because of course there were never going to be one God that created this place it's ludicrous um, put themselves in the image of life itself and so what I'm saying is is that all these different types of alien beings are the creators of all life itself but who are these beings where do they come from you know I told you to say about the perception of space and stuff well you can go out there it's just not how you think you know problem you know more than a submarine than a spaceship let's say that I'm gonna leave it there but nevertheless this this means things to me because of my experiences in life and so when the Galactic Federation spoke to me you know I now fully understand that these this that this Federation of all these beings that created this place left themselves in it for us to see clear as day for us to see you know there's no getting away from this this is for us to see that they they that all these beings created this place again it's about perception of reality this place you know they don't want you to know the truth they don't want you to know that they of what they are you know I mean this goes way way into the unseen world which there is more of than you could ever imagine and understanding that is is a fundamental point of and key aspect of reality itself but again I'm diverging and going on other topics which not necessarily needs to be in this video so you see if you've watched my other videos you've seen this before it's horse and obviously this image these images this one and that one and the next couple are from uh, extremerealitycheck.com so I would recommend checking out our content too very good but as you can see what I've highlighted in this is over here so you can see that kind of looks like a seal and you can see whiskers looks like whiskers big nice black eye and this one's sort of closed and then this one over here like you can see the face it's clear as day anyway already and can you see all the interconnected faces in the this horse hopefully you can well now if you can't then just look over here like. I mean it's, it's clear look goes around there and there's another one there look and there's another one there and there's a small one there that little dinkly one and then it goes around and, and it, look, look at it man it's, it's so obvious that all these things are connected to one another you can't get away from it not after you know if you've sat here for over an hour I thank you very much and hopefully this is you know don't be scared of it at all please it is what it is look at it you know clear as day faces uh, look at that being there look he was part of creation so was he and so was he of course yeah, I'm, I'm not bothered highlighting anything in this image but I'll just go through you can see that face life face life face life now if you really I don't really like that term oh and I do want to come up with another name for it but at the minute it is what it is isn't it you know face life is what we see and so face life is 
what it should be for now. But you see in the background though, you know, all these interconnected faces. And you see, when you step back, again, perspective, and actually look back at the background, you actually see these bigger beings, you know, over here. Over there, like, you know. And they're all interconnected too, like, in the landscape. But they're obviously much, much bigger than the ones in the horse. So what does that say? It says that that landscape is an animal which is much, much bigger once before that was living. Uh, that's, that's the reality we live in, you know? Extreme creation is the only answer, you know? I can't put it any other way. It has so many ramifications and, and uh, it's unbelievable really I mean how we've not seen this ourselves you know is that's unbelievable really you got to deprogram yourself from their lies you see look at this one that last one you can see that there look clear as day and then that one there clear as day and then it's never one interconnected with it and then you see there's another one there look there and there's another one there and I can go on and on and on I'm not going here never one there look see it clear as day I looked earlier ah don't worry about it actually so I think it quite self evident that the things we're seeing now with our eyes are actually evidence that we really do need to interpret the geological landscape and therefore time in a completely different way than the theory of evolution and any other you know current consensus of and even notion that the earth is millions of years old it can never be because of this face life proves it you know life they've lied to you about life they've lied to you about geological time they've lied to you about space they've lied to you about creation they've lied to you about ancient cultures they've lied to you about the past so that so much that it history is repeating itself and it's only those that know this that are coming out now and actually trying to save people and actually say look come on we can do better than this as a species and as a, as a race collectively we let a minority group control us to the point where they get us doing what they want us to do and a lot of people can't see that they work for evil you know whether it be the police or the or teachers lecturers you know you're pushing you, you, you know i know money is the control system to keep that in place that's why it needs to go so i'm just trying to explain a few other things there I've been a bit of a rant, lower four a bit, on all these intertangled, uh, entangled pathways of different faces. So face life, as I was saying, and how we can try and postulate with proportions of these face life, the true sizes, and what really they rest upon themselves, and what we rest upon, you know. So I have obviously said, as I said, I took this study further, as we're going to go see. But we are not really programmed to see these things. Next image. Again, if you, you watch my videos, you've seen this one before. If not, welcome. Here it is. You know, mouth, eye, eye. Is this a titan or a giant? Is this a titan or a giant? I oh, I nose looks like a like a massive ape, and then this thing here, that like, like a bird beak. But in it, you see it, face life. All entangled faces. Although you can only collect, you know, see the outlines, but the eye there, that. 
Right. Well, yeah. So, confusing, to say the least, and this is part of the problem of how we, we need to determine time through a more biblical narrative which is the time of the titans, the time of the giants, and the time of man. This is the uh, ge geological landscape evidence, which, and we also need to work out, which we'll get to at the end of this, again, um, how life really works, because it's not what we've been told either. In fact, I have come up with something, but I'm going to leave it for the next video, which is to do with microscopic imagery and life, you know, plant life and other things like ourselves. It's another video. Like I said, this is far more complicated and deep and, and requires much, much more attention than just me, to be honest. But I hope there's people out there watching that are willing to take up the time to actually begin to see reality for what it is. So anyway, trees, right? Now, look at them. Do you see the faces? Do you see the interconnected faces which are the trees? Because if you don't, I will highlight a few, you know, there's an eye there, an eye there, nose, mouth, I can't really see the nose, but you can see the outline of it. It's there, and then underneath it is another guy, and then over here, there's a guy there, that eye, nose, mouth, over here, that massive eye there, and they're all interconnected as well, that, you know, you can see it, clear as day, goes up there, that, another one there, another one there. So trees and ancient life that's now dead that's in the landscape all have evidence so far of face life. So we get more into that as just an image of an ancient tree and again if you look carefully you begin to see the face life in it. Those trees are obviously massive. That's another topic, that's another topic again in its own in its own right really. But you see all the interconnected faces, which are the, the tree. This was a, a, f a fallen tree in Ireland. And noticeably, when you start looking closer again at the tree itself, what do we see? Again, we see face life interconnected faces now you're probably looking at that thing but bear with me this one's sticking its tongue out look yeah again you can see it interconnected faces that's the tree so then Let's take a look at this thing. I don't even know what this is. It's strange. And then when you actually look at the trees in the background and the bushes, what do we see again? More in interconnected faces, which is life itself. It's quite remarkable really how we've not seen this before. Going back to this image. Where's the tree roots? Where is the roots? Now, unfortunately, <laughs> the uh, there was a body underneath. Well, fortunately for me, unfortunately for them, for him and others. Um, yeah, so archaeologists was called out to this tree that's fallen in Ireland, and essentially, they decided to actually highlight it for me using rope. Because they were intrigued just as much as I was, it seems. Why are all these interconnected faces on the bottom of this tree? Where are the tree roots? What's going on? Hmm? Even archaeologists have, you know, they're on the day of point, noticed it and they're highlighting it. So you can see. A bit zoomed in. Now it's harder to see in this, but you, once you get your eye in, you can see. You know, there's a chin there, that goes up. Comes down there, look. Mouth, uh, nose, eye. 
more like that, smaller veins, goes across. Like I said, there's so many things in it, you can see it. Sit there like for like 10 minutes, just going around all of them. Never one there, never one there. No one there, that point your nose. No one there. You know, this, you, I kind of hope you're going to get the point. I got a big one there. Is that right? Are these beings alive? You know, do they have a soul? <laughs> I couldn't answer that question, I'm afraid. This picture I took at university. And again, if you look at the tree, you'll start seeing clearly that no there, no there, no mouth, and they're all interconnected. Look, no one there, no one there, you know, no one there, look, no one there, and it keeps going, you know, it'll keep going. He's, although it's harder to see, yeah, there's another one there, look, see it, I there, I there, no mouth. Look at that, and there's another one next to it. And it's just all interconnected. And see, you know, look at this guy up here, look, look at his eye. Triangle has an eye, like a clown. Massive nose, proper clown, sad face. Does look like a clown, doesn't it? Looking clown tree. And that thing looks like a creepy hand. But it's probably just more face life, isn't it? As we see. Interesting, I thought this was weird. However, I can't say that's a something or not. It does look like a weird spirit, but the university lights are behind it, so it's probably just face life with, with this light behind it. So again, perspective, and it's the same with looking at the landscape with the trees. And I can tell you now, eventually, if you stand at a certain distance, and knowing, knowing now what really is going on and what you can see really with your eyes, you will be able to see this with your own eyes. You know, you won't need a camera to capture it. You can see it, you know. And, it, and when you start seeing it, it, it will it will freak you out because you'll know that it's real. You know, you know exactly what you're looking at. You're looking at fucking life, you know. For the first time in your life, you're looking at life itself. It is truly a... a an unbelievable uh, thing to even comprehend that we've been walking around this earth not even looking at life itself really <laughs> so perspective it's uh, let's take it a step you know let's go back and again you'll start seeing if you look carefully from a distance this is an eye an eye 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 and then eyebrow type thing and a big mouth it goes around there and then you'll start seeing drawing it into connected faces never one there look never been conquer nose guy there look that's two conquer guys never one there never one there look it, it continues you know it's it's so anyway never one just same principle except for this time we're the ones that have already took a step back so if you actually look at these trees you can see the eye there look and an eye there nose mouth kind of head there and then other things in it which look weird like a man i've never seen that before i got it nah it's more face life there it is look you can see it takes a while to get your eye in. You can see the head there a lot and there's another be face there a lot. Another one there a lot. And this one over here a lot. Massive nose. See that nose? Eye. Mouth. And you will see this with your own eyes. You don't need a camera to see this. Seriously. So these are doors in my house and I've got other images but these are the only ones that I went through just to try and demonstrate that even wood in my house shows the interconnective of face life and again take your time please you know I mean just pause it and look at look at it carefully and what where I've highlighted and look I mean you can see the eye there look the mouth don't get me wrong it's not perfect 
you know, I've missed things there, like you can see, look, that one there should have gone up there, look. And there's a small one there, and there's even a smaller one there, and even a smaller one there, look at that. And then it goes down, and then this big one there, look. And there's like a squished one in there. You kind of get the point, it's hard to draw on a smaller scale, so on a landscape scale, if you if you get the imagery right, this is what I'm saying, we can actually map the whole entire landscape. Um, if people are out there that have got the, the knowledge and know-how to make algorithms and then use the imagery to, you know, do it, to help me, um, please, you know, message me. I mean, um, this is the most important thing we need to do, is search for truth, and, and, and this is the only pathway that y you need to find, take to find it. What is the truth? I mean, life, life, we need to look at life itself to answer that. We don't know it. Now we're kind of getting there. And here we go. More faces in Stonehenge. Interconnected faces, you know. A bear, a bear. It's more bear like, see the eye. Never face there. I'm just trying to demonstrate that. If you actually look with your eyes, this is what you'll see. Again, please pause it if you feel like you need to look at the images more. A stone at Avebury, same thing. More face life. All interconnected with one another. Different beings, different shaped heads. Now the interesting thing about this obviously is are these stones so is this stone here with the evidence of face life in it which I'd say you know is it part of the titans or is it part of the giants you know because the next bit this here is something that was generally probably real because if you look in it it's got face life inside it itself, you know, where this one, you know, other rocks have bigger face life in it, but don't kind of look, you know, like anything like that. I mean, that's obvious. That's, that was once living being that has face life in it, you see? So there's more evidence that, that face life is life. It is, you know, life itself is all this. The creation is this. This is creation. You know, and all, we got to explain now. So, not only do we then have to look at these rocks and go, right, okay, all this face life is in it, so therefore it must be, it, it has to be from, let's say, a, you know, a being, and then we got to go, okay, does it look resemble any way? A body part that we've once that we you know believe we we have like a heart or any you know anything else so we can then narrow it down and then and, you know it's all about trying to get all this information together and then then put it in a comprehensive way this is just the beginning like I say I can't can't tell you the amount of work that needs to be done on this we see like the face So that's a much bigger face. So I'm saying that could be part of like a, a, gi a giant, let's say, where that there is actually something that was living, that was probably, you know, I can't even estimate the size of that rock to the size of the being, but let's say, you know, very large indeed, which has got evidence of face life in it, all in it. You can see it, like eye there, nose, mouth, eye, 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 eye. Tongue sticking out, nose. Sardinia, it's all the same now. I'm just going to flat flash through these images because you, if you, if you're interested, you'll pause it. Interesting again. So you know what? It, what we are saying, like you know, like these things that look like heads. 
Partly from the time of the giants, when they got from the fl pre-flood like civilization, or are they, you know, evidence of chopped up titans and giants? You know what I mean? It is because it... you got to put a timeline on this, for example. So let's say the giants were real and they built all the infrastructure around the world, say the pyramids and stuff. They still they. If they were the true builders of everything, then how can they be the one? How can they be like in the walls of the Naragi? You know, like I know, obviously, where the Bible says about them, the giants surviving after and that. So that's something we must also take into consideration in in, in the timeline. Is that we've got two sides of building by giants one pre-flood and one after the flood you know and that's that's another thing that the the mainstream don't even want to acknowledge they didn't want to even acknowledge the fact that the flood happened of course it did right, well. so me and my mate were in the church got in the church in the middle of nowhere in sardinia and essentially we found this hole and it went into this chambered like underground not very deep on that but um chamber and it went it was like one corridor and we went to the end of the, this corridor and we stopped and the only reason we stopped was because of this spider but essentially it was pitch black we couldn't see a fucking thing and i told my mate to get his camera out because i thought it's interesting it's red um, so and take a picture well I'll take a picture and I did not see this with my eyes because if I did we would have been out of there we would have bolted absolutely but do you see this beer man if we went further I have no idea what this thing would have done to me and my mate if this was generally in the in the, in the cave and it is definitely a real thing it's real that was there it's not a spirit I'm telling you, that's, def that's definitely... You can see the hands and everything. It's perfect. So I thought this was a ghost at first. But I've reanalyzed this image and it absolutely is... Definitely not. You see the antenna or not. But more evidence of very alive aliens today, I believe, that I've just captured and come right up close to. Didn't even know. And this one is a ghost, however. A spirit, I believe is blue and it's weird looking you can see like the arms weird fat arms and a really skinny chest a really weird long head but this is I, I recently captured this so i'm just showing it like as i did a video on the ghosts of sardinia's past and so i thought i'd throw that in there but also the fact that there's the naragi Nor have face life in it as well everywhere you look so it's a very complex puzzle indeed to find out like who built what, why they built it, when did he build it. Uh, and again, we'll just leave it like that for a minute because as you can see, you can see more. Are these real? Was he once real beings that got turned to stone? Or is that just like face life, which then is part of something bigger? I think that's real, you know what I mean? That's a real being. Or this whole wall is probably heads of beings and stuff. Which is weird, because who does that, right? Who builds a wall with heads? Ah, oh, right. Satanists, probably. Whole world's full of them, so it wouldn't surprise me. See that the difference? So this is a very large head. Two large heads. Different beings. Eye, eye, nose, mouth. Can't really see the eyes, but you can see the nose bit there in the mouth. It would have been. Similar height, I imagine, because of the same thing. Same height head. That's just speculation, after all. But again, if we really, if I, I'm going to do this, but you can start to see face life inside it already. There, look. Eye, eye, nose, mouth. Interesting enough. Again, it's about perspective. So more evidence 
just again human looking wouldn't you say does look like he's sticking his tongue out though again there's a lot of that one eye and sticking the tongue out very large face there which means that that is probably part of something much bigger do you see this looks like a guy smoking a pipe a hat on sticking out this mat sticking out this hole very weird it looks human as well just a very very large human looking at you this this it's odd so anyway last thing see how this looks like a neck it goes up and you can see that this is like a mouth area and you see that like an eye there and a head unfortunately this guy's been crushed up see it his mouth there eye and eye he's been smashed against the this this wherever this is whatever titan this was these beans have been crushed against it you see this very large animal here it's like a reptilian or something so these two things were very large creatures that have been turned to stone so as we've been going on it, it's very very complex indeed but I hopefully should have got it to now that this face life is something that we really do see and something that we really should work towards in understanding and um, pushing to the public about because this is ultimately the truth you know what we see with our eyes they can never take away once you know you can't unknow once you see you can't unsee so please share like this as there is going to be much much more work towards this new theory and concept of what life is and how it's created and everything oh last thing the next one is going to be on microscopic imagery uh, floor fauna um, I've done a quite a bit of research into the clouds as I said in the in this video look at the clouds um, and a few things about the cities also I'm going to try and do like estimations of face sizes in the landscape try and get out like you know general sizes of faces and in, in, in these beings uh, first camera pictures of face life and as I said earlier about this stuff and then in games so uh, if you do join me next time this is exactly what I'll be looking for oh, also and how does it work you know how complex you know the complexity of how it works and what you really need to know in order to understand how it works about um, frequencies and sound and um, water but that's a, like I said it's, it's a different matter entirely it's a different video I've been going on now for a while hour and a half and so this I'll leave it there but this is an image of my hand top of my hand and I've you know there you go, I believed I washed the, all the ink off look clearly didn't but what can you see in this image you know this is what I'm going to leave you with face life interconnected beings that is my skin so thank you very much for watching and I do hope you join me next time thank you very much please share and subscribe it's very important goodbye